Red Bull's Alex Albon's relative gap in performance to teammate Max Verstappen and the recent resurgence of Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly has prompted some to suggest that they could be swapped around, with Gasly getting another shot at Red Bull. Team principal Christian Horner has now revealed the actual chances of that happening. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, could Gasly return to Red Bull? Albon would finish 6th place after losing 5th place on the last lap to Renault's Esteban Ocon, while Max would finish on the podium. Horner gave his thoughts on this. So Alex wasn't able to hang on to that 5th place. Nonetheless, he did a good job defending hard throughout the Grand Prix. He then looked at Gasly's string of good performances and hinted at why it might not be fair to compare his results to those of Albon. Gasly is performing well in the environment at Alpha Tauri, but that is a car that is perhaps a bit easier to drive than our Red Bull. He further explained why they are still on the right path with Albon. Alex's performances on Sunday have been strong, and he had a good race again at Spa. His defending and overtaking is always strong, so I think we're going in the right direction. Horner signed off by disclosing the chances of a driver swap. It is good to see Pierre getting back up to speed, which is why he's still in the Red Bull program, but we are happy with the way things are now. Fast feed Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has admitted they made a mistake by leaning too much on the weather forecast and adjusting the car more to the rain and therefore with more downforce at Spa. As a result, he feels they ended up with too little speed on the straight. He also added they had planned a two-stop strategy, but with Daniel Ricciardo within 18 seconds, that wasn't possible. Pirelli F1 boss Mario Isola thinks that the tyre allocation for Monza is intended to give the drivers maximum freedom in the choice of tyres they want to take into the race. Vural Ark, the chairman of organisers of the Turkish Grand Prix, feels that they need to be prepared for anything, and if the disease gets worse again than it is today, the race can go on without spectators. He also divulged that Formula 1 normally has certain standards about the prices of the tickets, but the government has urged them to let that go. Dutch Grand Prix sporting director Jan Lammers thinks that something must be structurally and fundamentally wrong if people within the team do not have confidence in Ferrari. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff is of the opinion that the task of Pirelli is not simple because they have to make products while the team develop F1 single-seaters that increase the aerodynamic load every year. He also feels that a tyre that has a lot of grip and lasts for 50% of the race would be great for the drivers, but they are not sure that it would guarantee a great show. Red Bull's Max Verstappen considers the racetrack in Turkey as certainly a beautiful circuit and is looking forward to driving there. Ferrari team principal Mattia Binotto will be curious to see which teams are affected by the ban on engine modes. McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel is expecting another exciting fight with Racing Point and Renault at Monza, but feels that Ferrari will struggle there. He, however, accepts that they should never underestimate that Ferrari has the strength to hit back hard over the course of a season. Helmut Marko thinks that Liberty Media are very direct but sometimes a bit naive, they don't fully understand the political process in Formula 1. He also feels that they have to make compromises with the FIA and the 10 teams. Renault's Esteban Ocon pointed out that they were faster than Red Bull at Spa, which is of course very good news in view of next week. And Dr. Sam Shahin, the owner of the Tail and Bend circuit in Australia, is certainly thinking of making themselves available for an F1 race as nothing compares to their circuit and facilities. Should Red Bull swap Albon and Gasly? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.